Most of us don't like speaking about our feelings, especially when it comes to religion. I'm Billy Poynton, and in this edition of At Seven, we explore how a sculpture makes it easier to express what we mean. The Wolf Institute was founded in 1998 to foster understanding between religion and society through teaching, through research, through outreach and community programmes. Well, today is one of the most exciting days in the history of the Wolf Institute because we are installing this wonderful statue created for us by Helene Blumenfeld called Tree of Life Encounter. I think people very rarely understand what goes into making a sculpture. You see it there and, and it seems like it's just kind of happened. The sculpture is a five-ton piece of marble that came out of the mines of Michelangelo, the only mine that I think is still used today in Italy, and then was put onto a back of a lorry and driven all the way, stayed overnight in Duxford last night and then arrived this morning. The idea that I came up with was a tree which has three very separate parts on the bottom but grows up together and opens up into a possibilities, dreams, angels, spiritual enlightenment. I'm, I'm very concerned with a kind of a symbolic uh, way of seeing sculpture, sculpture becoming an icon. I mean, you see the Statue of Liberty which stands there and says to people, there is such a thing as liberty, there's freedom. And I think that sculpture is able to convey that kind of a message. And when you look at this piece of art and you look at the way the leaves kind of talk to each other, then that seems to me something that's very beautiful and illustrates our work. And I think that we in our society have forgotten the emotional impact of beauty on people. It takes them out of their own lives, it takes them into another place. And I think it, it energizes and spiritualizes. This stone from Michelangelo's quarry hasn't just moved, it's changed. It's become a great metaphor for seeking answers to fundamental questions. Now tell us what you think, and thanks for watching this edition of At Seven.